Hello, I'm Luke from Smallfish, and here's how to bring your model in the sandbox. So, assuming you've got your org set up, you've got your project set up, um, in your project you've got a models folder. So, this is my folder for my project. I'm going to do create new models. And I'll go into there, and I'm just going to copy that path because I'm going to need that. So, go to your model. And I'm also going to assume you've got your model all set up all right, so you've got your material, uh, you've made sure there's no issues with it, and it scaled correctly. So I'm going to select that model, and I'm going to export it. I personally recommend to only export as an FBX, which sometimes in Blender that has issues, so you might not want to, in which case you can export as a DMX, which is the source tools, Blender source tools, for example. Um, otherwise FBX should be perfectly fine which I'm going to do here so I'm going to name it Medkit FBX and I'm going to save it into that file path so done we'll see it in the file path there so perfect you should also see it in here now yep the asset browser we need our textures too so I've already got them sorted let me bring them in I also as a tip I recommend to name them correctly by correctly, I mean naming them along these naming conventions because it will make it much easier as I show you now when you create your material. So you can right click your color, create material, and I'm going to name it Medkit VMAT. So we've got a material created, and you'll see every texture is filled in automatically because we named it along the naming scheme. So you might have some issues with, let's say, oh, I got metalness. Why is there no metalness here? And that's because the shader settings in the material isn't set exactly right yet. So we can go down. You can see, there's no metalness texture. So I need to enable specular. Oh, and now I can do metalness. And because we got it named correctly again, let's put it in the right place automatically. In which case it doesn't, you can either go into your containing folder, drop down all images, see it in there, or you can do it on the texture browser. So we can delete that, you can see it in there, but ours is perfectly fine, so we can save. And you can do Control S or the save button. Don't need this now, go away, close it down. So now we're going to tackle the model, which is just as easy, right click, create model. And it's filled in our rendered mesh, which is the rendered mesh. And default material group, which is where our base material goes, our general material. So it isn't filled in now, but I'm going to fill in here with the magnifying glass, the medkit. And we compile. And I'm going to save it as medkit. And here it is. Let's give it a quick test with the play button at the top left of the uh, viewport window. Spawn it by clicking, but... It's a bit weird, if, if we go into the main game view, which will bring us in here now, and we walk up to it, there's no collisions or physics on it, which well, that makes sense because we've only got a rendered mesh and a material. So we'll quickly add physics, so add button. You can type in physics, and your two main options will be doing it from the file, which is from like an FBX file or whatever model file, or from the rendered mesh which we've already got in the uh, project to uh, the model so I'm gonna do that one it's much easier so boop you'll see this weird little blue wireframe and that's our collision hall our hall for the collisions uh, and the physics and all that so perfect it, it seems to look right obviously if you line this up it looks about right yep so we can compile it and you can see all the models just did a weird thing if you wanted to, you could click the grab hand and mess around the viewport, see if you've got physics now. Or go in game and mess with them in game. Your model's all sorted, you got your basic collisions, got your rendered mesh, it's all sorted. It's perfect. And that's how you bring your model in the sandbox.